hello, hello, and welcome back to Planned on Planning. Here we are in my business planner, um, and I am ready to get started. So I know I have been missing for some time, and I haven't been on point with things, and I've kind of just let things fall by the wayside, especially when it comes to my business. But there has been so much going on with me personally that unfortunately... I just had to make the decision for my business to basically suffer, to be honest. But things are a little bit more normalized and I'm ready to get back on track. And I will start with this gorgeous washer. Um, and I'm going to use this one, of course, as my banner and that to frame out my weeks. So let's get started. I mean... Like, very honestly, because, you know, I keep a nothing but honest with you guys. Um, so much has happened personally. And like I said, unfortunately, I did have to make the decision to let my business suffer in a lot of areas. But I have everything taken care of now. And I am truthfully ready to get back on track and back to making the magic happen. So that means I need to make sure that my planner is as cute as possible so that when I'm being business savvy and making decisions and signing documents, I have a place to have all of that recorded, written down, and all of that good stuff. And that would be, of course, my planner. So Let's get going. Now, I thought it would be super cool to do this. As opposed to doing two layers of this, because as you can see, it was going to be rather large. So I would lose the Monday, Wednesday, you know, Friday, Saturday. Or I can just add this there, which I decided to just add it and I'm actually rather glad that I did because it is super cute, but I'm having problems cutting the washi. Why? I have no idea. So, heady daddy scissors, let's go. Bam. I mean, I'm, I'm, I lied. It's not that I don't have an idea. Usually when you have washi with foiling on it, it does become a little difficult to tear on its own and it would be in your best interest to just have scissors or a straight edge handy, honestly speaking. So I'm not going to say that I don't know what the issue is because I actually kind of do. And I'm also making sure to nice, not slice up my table because I like my table, <laughs> to be very honest. I like my table. I bought it. Um, but here we go. And I'm just going to cut off the excess on both sides. Now, it is March, and I do know that we're supposed to be all green and St. Patty and all leprechaun. But honestly, I don't have it. I just don't. I would love to have some washi that would befit the occasion. But honestly, I couldn't find any. And my local Michaels didn't have any. I didn't have a chance to, you know, head to like Hobby Lobby or Joann's. So I'm going to say that I put forth half an effort to actually find some washi to fit the occasion. But I do have some stickers, so don't be too upset with me. Um, So I'll add those stickers as well. Granted, I can't add it necessarily right right now because I'm not going to bore you with actually putting in the dates. Actually, we can. Well, I'm not going to write in the dates, but I'm just going to signify what the actual day is. I know it should be somewhere around here. So I'll just like, you know, mark it off. Friday was the first and then we'll go from there. Um, But let's finish with the wash. I know we're getting a little ahead of ourselves right now. So let's finish with the washi. And framing out... The week ahead. I'm doing just like that. Hi. 
Aha. Now it does come off very easily when you cut it, to be honest. But you do want to give yourself just like a little leeway. See? Now, I know using the scissors is great. Um, you know, it cuts just where you need it to cut. It doesn't go all the way through to the paper. So I'm not sure how like a straight edge would work because I know that is so much sharper. But if you have a light hand, you shouldn't have a problem at all. I personally am heavy handed. Um, I admit that now in life. I know people have told me a lot and I was like, what are you talking about? I'm super gentle. <laughs> but <laughs> the reality of it is I do have a heavy hand. So the scissors works great for me. So this way I'm not cutting through to the table. Now, this is not big enough for the area, as you can see. See, it's not big enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it just above the dark um, black line. So this way I can at least hide that. Yeah, I'm not trying to get the whole area going, but I do want to hide, you know, that black line. Now, I've admitted to you that I have a heavy hand, Will I admit that to anyone else? Probably not. So if you tell somebody, more than likely I'm going to deny it. Full disclosure. Now going up the side, I like to do little by little. It just helps to making sure everything stays straight and on point, to be very honest. And then I just go across and cut it. Oy. Yeah, that got a little funky. So, since we already have our scissors out, I'm just going to cut it to, bam, make it straight and even. There we go. So, here we have one ready and done, and I think it's super cute, to be honest. And I know I'm a little um, biased because it is my work, but... You can't deny a good thing, sweetie. You just can't. So, here we go. Bam. It's a nice, clean, smooth cut. Ha ha. That doesn't take anything but a couple of seconds. Now, like I said, I'm not going to take the time to write out every date. I know that St. Patrick's Day is the 17th, so I'll just count out 17 days and we'll rock it from there. Here we go, here we go, here we go, 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 Oh, yeah. I am loving it. All right, and the same thing applies. I'm putting it right on the black line. Just to cover it up to keep with everything. The flu. Bam. And then I'm going to go right down the side. I actually should have done it the other way, to be honest. So I didn't have to worry about messing up a pretty little table. But I'm going to be super careful. Bam. All right. So let's wrap that up, move these things to the side, 
and bam this is what we have to start everything off i think it looks pretty awesome um i'm going to you know eventually number everything out with my fine liners in this wonderful greenish color from the pastel colors collection so friday was the first so it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, bam. So this way I just know where to put my St. Patty stuff. Basically that's all that is. And I do have a cute little St. Patty's design that I'm going to put on the side here as well. But let's get popping with these super cute little St. Patty stickers that I bizzled. And I think I want to use this one. This is cute. Yeah. I think that's cute. I wish I had a super small one to put in the corner. Ah, I fell out my hand. But this one will have to do. Yeah, I like that. All right, so there's some St. Some, some Patty's Love and Flair. Now, granted, I do have more, but, you know, I have two other planners to do. And then we do want to have enough. So, I like say I use these four on my two other planners. And then I want to have something to put on the actual day. So, that's why I'm not going crazy with it this time around. And I'll use some other ones that I have to decorate with. But, that means it's time to get decorating. So, I know it is quite a lot, but, you know, when you have a lot, you do a lot. So, I will be using these sticker books, and I know it's all, you're like, dang, girl, what the frig? But, <laughs> please believe me, it's just like one or two stickers from each, truthfully. It's nothing like super over the top or crazy, but like I said, just... A couple here and there and as you know see I love to um, mark out what I want to do ahead of time so this way you know that it's just one or two stickers from each of them so that's what we're doing all right so I'm using these at the top from my memory keepers and like I said I have a cute little thing so I want to use the bumblebees and some of the four leaf clovers on the side here so i'm just going to turn it to the side and get that going um, so i want to put out my bumblebees first just to like mark out the area So this way, when I put my four leaf clovers, I'm not necessarily overlapping too much. But that is one of the pluses to using these stickers with the clear backgrounds. That overlapping is not the end of the world. So I just want to keep it like really loosey goosey, nothing too like crazy defined, but just, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there, celebrating the occasion, paying a little homage to what we have going on. And I actually like it just like that. Like I said, I did want to keep it really simple being as how I didn't have washi to go with it. So I didn't want to get too over the top in like one cluttered area and then it looks super weird. So we're paying homage on the side. We've marked out the day. Now let's get it popping, boo. All right, so we have some things going on. Where's the other one? All right. So I have the stickers that I want to use. And I'm going to get on there. Let me just get everything together. 
Okay, so let's get these stickers into place. Okay, that sound is really weird. Forgive me. Okay. So I have everything already marked. So that makes it like 10 times easier to get things done. I mean, guys, it doesn't seem like it now, but I promise you it is. Okay, so, I, like I said, I didn't necessarily have, or maybe I do need to add some dates in. Urgh. Okay, so let's take a quick minute to add dates, because it's actually going to look super weird. All right, sorry about that. Now we can move on. All right, so now, uh, now I'm do it. I'm trying to not mess with the holes, that's why. All right, so I have a lot of new beginnings going on this month. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I stayed in a wonderfully positive mind frame. Access to Friday. And for that, I wanted to get some great inspo going on. And I was able to find some green stickers to help me do that. So, in my quest, uh, while I was researching and looking for stickers that I wanted to use, you know, that was my target or my focus to get some green things going on. Now, granted, I didn't want to oversaturate it with green things, but I did want to make sure that it was still represented. Because, like I said, I didn't have the washi. Bam. Bam. Go. All right, so I'm ah, it's stuck. Oh my gosh, you have to be so careful when sticking these things because they truthfully have a mind of their own. All right, so that goes there. I wanted to put this here. But this is your year, like I said, I want to fill um this month with a lot of positive inspiration and making sure you know that I stay on the right track like I said there are a lot of new beginnings this month for me I'm starting a new job so it's gonna be super awesome something I've always wanted to do and like ecstatic that I have the opportunity to get into the field so that is like me right now totally amped about that so you know I'm gonna start off with a nice positive quote I have all these great stickers going on um yeah, so like I said, this is my business planner. So I'll be using the monthly spread to actually break down my monthly goals and track out my monthly goals. And then weekly, I write down exactly how I'm achieving that. You know, whatever steps need to be taken, whatever research needs to be done, you know, follow-up emails, follow-up text messages, phone calls, things of that nature, while also making sure I have my videos done, my website done, all that stuff. So... It's a lot of work, but I am definitely up for the challenge, as I like to say, challenge. All right, so 
I just have a couple of more info stickers that I wanted to put down and a couple I do need like two. I don't want the last week to feel left out. Bam. Now, like I said, this is for goal writing. So while I do want, you know, it to be cute and have some life and some attitude to it, I do want to make sure that I still have space to write things down. So that's why I don't really go too crazy, you know, with the stickers and whatnot. Like during the month, I may add, you know, something that's a little box that'll have, you know, like a checklist or maybe another little piece of inspo if I found some extra space. But to start off with, this is really all I want to have going on. So I want to keep it nice, clean, simple, and then as the month goes on, add to it. So here we are. This is my foundation for the month of March and everything I have going on, and I want to have space to write it in. So I'm going to stop right here for now. Because like I said, as the month goes on, I'll fill it up with words, with other stickers, with to-do lists and things of that nature. So I thank you ever so much for joining me and creating this. I'm pretty sure I sound like a hot mess. I'm a little off my game because it's been a while. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to drop them below. If you feel more comfortable sending me an email, please do so. My email address is plantonplanning at gmail.com. That information is below as well. Do not forget to follow me on social media. Once you hit the follow button, go ahead and hit the send message. Let me know that you saw the video. You know, if you have questions, ask them, you know, where'd I get this from? Where'd I get that from? Where do I get my pens from? Whatever the case may be, let's chat it up. But in the meantime, in between time, a little days.